Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the Reset Random Stream Node. The Reset Random Stream Node is really simple. It has an input and has an output. Well, technically an execute in and an execute out. And then an input of the stream you want to reset. So let's see how we would use it and what it's useful for. We're going to print out a couple random numbers. We have a stream of here. I seeded it to 100. We have a max integer of 10, and we're going to get some results back. We get 466354. Cool, not a problem. Now let's say we want some more values. So I'm going to go ahead and after I complete that, I'm going to run another loop. I'm going to go ahead and grab the same thing from here, print these out in red, and of course we have different values. Our stream is a continuous list of different values that are set but random. But that means every time we ask the node for more values, we're going to get back something different. So we get our 466354, but then we get 849977. Well, now we're going to plug in our reset random node here. After we ask for the first five, we reset and we plug in our random stream variable that holds our stream. And then we're going to print out five again. This time we should get the same numbers, 466, 466, 354, 354. We've ran it through six times, got six numbers, reset it back to defaults, back to the base first value, and then now we ask for six more again. And that's it. That's all the reset random stream node is for. It's for resetting your stream no matter what position it's in, back to its initial seed default original first beginning value. 